guys, this is Vineet Pandey and in this video lecture we will talk about MPhil entrance, PhD entrance, University of Delhi, the criteria how to join it, the syllabus they ask questions and what are the basic requirements for this particular entrance exam. So before we start this, uh, for especially the students of English literature, I will say something in Hindi for all my general students, those who are from various different backgrounds and having different subjects. Those who MPhil entrance or PhD entrance, if you want to join the University of Delhi, तो याद रखिएगा ये एक नंबर वन यूनिवर्सिटी है यहाँ पे कोई हल्की फुल्की एग्जाम ये छोटे मोटे टेस्ट नहीं होते हैं यहाँ पे बहुत ही हाई स्टैंडर्ड लेवल होगा जो आपके ग्रेजुएशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन का लेवल नहीं होता है रिमेंबर दिस थिंग अगर आपको इनका पार्ट बनना है यू वांट टू ज्वाइन तो आप हमेशा से एक चीज याद रखना कि टॉप से टॉप जो लेवल पे होते हैं उनको सेलेक्ट करेंगे और आप इसे बहुत से लोग मुझे दूर दूर से मैसेज कर रहे हैं कि क्या एम और पी की जा सकती है अगर हम सिर्फ हिंदी मीडियम स्टूडेंट हो हमें जोग्राफी में करना है हिस्ट्री में करना है पोलिटिकल साइंस में करना है जी हाँ आप हिंदी मीडियम कर सकते हैं लेकिन जो पूरा एनवायरनमेंट है यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली का वो इंग्लिश को ही ज्यादा सपोर्ट करता है जहां तक मेरी जानकारी है इसलिए आप याद रखिएगा कि इंग्लिश को एक आपको एज अ मेजर वेपन लेके चलना पड़ेगा ना वी स्विच टू आवर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स सो यू ऑल आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली एंट्रेंस वेल आई मस्ट कॉन्चुलेट यू बिकॉज नन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वो एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली हैव द आइडिया ऑफ व्हाट टू रीड व्हाट नॉट एंड यू आर डेयरिंग इनफ दैट्स रियली गुड एंड एज अ टीचर माय रिस्पांसिबिलिटी इज टू टीच यू ऑल गाइस आई वाज गेटिंग कॉल्स एंड मैसेजेस ऑन रेगुलर बेसिस दैट नेट एग्जाम इज ऑन 8th ऑफ जुलाई एंड व्हाट शुड बी द लास्ट पॉइंट गाइडिंग्स लास्ट स्ट्रेटजी लास्ट मिनट सम सजेशन एंड देन वी स्टार्टेड गेटिंग कॉल्स एंड मैसेजेस दैट सर यस वी हैव फिल्ड द फॉर्म ऑफ एमफिल एंड पीएचडी आल्सो सो डू वी हैव एनी डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटजी आर वी सपोज्ड टू रीड द सेम थिंग और वी जस्ट हैव टू फॉलो द सेम पैटर्न ऑफ यूजीसी ने व्हेन आई क्वालिफाइड माय फर्स्ट ईयर इफ आई वाज एट क्लाउड 9 आई वाज एक्साइटिंग विद जॉय आई वाज वेरी हैप्पी वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट एंड आई रिमेंबर आई अप्लाइड फॉर जेन्यू एमफिल एंट्रेंस सो ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स दो जो वर रीडिंग एंड प्रिपेयरिंग they asked me when are you studying something for genu i said no no it's okay you guys read and i became very 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 egoistic i will became very over confident i said that whatever you will cover in your best approaches to literature that's already covered and i have everything on my fingertips i asked myself what will they ask canadians africans literary theories everything is on my tips i'll be the one who will do it i'll crack it in my very first attempt So friends, I didn't read even a single thing for JNU and Phil. Not even I tried to know the pattern of the exam, like going through the last papers. I was like, okay, whatever they ask, it's English literature. So hearing the word English literature was like from Chaucer to anything postmoderns. And then when I appeared in the exam, I found like the paper was totally alien to me. I wanted to leave it. I wanted to run away. because no more single question was related to literature there were all analyticals dealing with comprehension part talking about literary quality understanding and how you perceive things how you write and your own perception of literature and life so that's the reason that when you prepare for jnu or university of delhi there is a very different thing so i was thinking i must tell you all because i am the one who has worked in university of delhi and luckily i have experienced the best part of my life Uh, coming from Rajasthan, qualifying net was a very different thing. Having the background of a very small town, meeting with the people with small town, and uh, preparing, mugging up, reading, and uh, burning midnight oil for a particular exam was very easy. In fact, but when I became the part of University of Delhi, I was like, oh my God, that's a different world. Every professor, every single assistant professor, my every friend was teaching their unmatched in their knowledge, unmatched in their skills. you know i was very shocked to see the professor who would talk to me on a regular basis having cup of tea that he is actually the writer who has written a book of kasab and has given lectures in london one of my friend from jnu was teaching with me was teaching in america and london on a regular basis he was like shifting to america then coming back to india then this i've seen people writing papers from jhansi ki rani to uh, you know amitabh bachchan and all i've seen the creativity delhi university has different standard and that's the reason when people they come to my class in the ugc ne they say that sir the way you teach it opens our, our eyes it makes us uh, interesting uh, interested towards literature because my approach is not making you mug up my approach is talking about that particular feel how literature got developed so when you preparing for the mphil entrance can we just go with the same pattern of mugging up no i must tell you that university of delhi mphil uh, entrance pattern has been changed its objective 
it's no more subjective had it been subjective i would have said it is almost impossible for the average good student you're supposed to be the best of best but now it's objective so you have fair chances if you have proper understanding proper reading skills you can qualify now what to read what not to read the very basic thing remember ugc net needs mugging up ugc net needs almost all those objective point of views and things delhi university doesn't need it so there will be no question related to who has written this book who has written that book when shakespeare was born when bacon died what is the concept of objective correlative these kind of question you won't get they will talk about analytical question they will ask you to compare theory of impersonality with negative capability and choose the right pair of options and then you will have four options in analytical way you are supposed to read all you are supposed to go for the right pair and then you are supposed to answer moreover they hardly pay attention to british history so they will simply talk about the latest developments in literature yes literary theories are must in criticism you can simply avoid the entire criticism and just start reading coleridge and ts eliot coleridge because the perfection of romanticism is there and ts eliot the one who is actually a bridge between criticism and theories if you remember then ts eliot is actually the one who is taken as the bridge because he called that new criticism is lemon squeezing he is the one who gave the idea that we must focus on the text so theoretical things criticism are equally important then what about these remember delhi ministry has a particular taste it simply loves feminist theories queer theories post colonials dalit literature graphic novels and all the modern interpretation of beth so make sure you remember all these things you prepare for them now you can go for african afro american writer as a part of post colonials but remember dalit literature as their minority voices the problems the uh, voices which were crushed how it has been compared to black feminism like the comparison of dalit feminism to black feminism and all great indian writers who have been translated you have to read cs lakshmi like ambai you have to talk about bama then kamila samshi emtia dharkar and you have to also go for the uh, writers of south asian post colonial like you have to read monica ali azaz ahmed and many others so in short that's the standard of university of delhi you are supposed to go for mahashweta devi you are supposed to go for ismat chuktai that's an amazing writer sadat hasan mando so translation writers indian writers talking about the trauma theories and things you have to go for alamgir hashmi and then when you're all done with these things make sure you remember the popular fiction the who has you know delhi industry has this kind of inclination towards all these things now before we sum up with certain books and all i have selected a uh, few books from my collection as you can see that i have a great collection of uh, these books being the part of university of delhi lot of professors they recommended me to read this and that and thanks to these guys because this thing these are enough for net and all if i if you read just this much i can read this much you can qualify jrf easily but what gives you the perception of a university level standard professor these are the books i have selected those things for you i'll be telling you one by one their names i'll suggest you one more thing as the days are hardly left for you so i'll suggest that you should not buy especially if you're preparing for next exam coming on 20th of june second thing before we start it those who are actually preparing for direct phd from university of delhi i'm telling you something off records this is my personal experience my learning and uh, what i have actually developed the mind that you cannot be the part of direct phd programs in university of delhi because university of delhi professors they are really busy and they cannot teach you on every step that what are the fundamentals basic things of research thing make sure you always follow the channel go through mphil only they will hardly take you as a direct phd student once one of my student was taken in jamia directly she was selected from ma only i won't name her maybe for personal issues i don't want to name anamta was her name actually but i don't want to say this that top university they actually take it they will always ask you to go for mphil first so i suggest you and that's my personal opinion i'm not pointing out any drawback any particular you know uh, prototype any man uh, you know any kind of hierarchy in university of delhi but yes if you're looking for a direct phd from university of delhi trust me you'll uh, just end up with my uh, thought saying that yes vinith pandey was absolutely right so the books you are actually looking for for mphil entrance delhi university phd entrance and in fact all the great universities of your states if they are sending universities make sure you read all these things so 
So we'll start with the first one. You can see, I'm sure, these are the modern handling of all these Olympus. That is the name of the book. It's actually the retelling of the Greek myths. Make sure you remember the modern interpretation or Indian interpretation of all the Greek myths. You can buy the book if you're preparing for next year. Then, as I told you that in University of Delhi, feminism is very, very important. This is the book you have to read. So you have to go for all these things. Feminism and post-feminism. You can see the cover, you can read the name of the writer. Make sure you have it because remember, no ordinary teacher, even if somebody claims that he's the god of name, they don't have these books. Then as I told you that JNU is actually up after translation theories and so is Delhi University. Make sure you have books on translation. I have three to four books of same topics. Then you have this queer constellation, again related to queer theories, queer uh, things. Make sure you at least read it or have some notes on these things. Then, post-colonial approaches to literature, that's very very important here. And then all the different different cultures like multiculturalism. Then we have this liberalism, democracy. These are very rare books, even I don't touch them on a regular basis until or unless I'm supposed to drop a lecture in my class. Then it should be the handbook of all the students who are actually preparing for any research work. That's my favorite. Bollywood and postmodernism. Yes, Delhi University has a direct interest with all these things. They have a courses. They have courses. You can go for these things. Make sure you have a simple reading. Though, I can take you a guarantee that you will hardly get one question of this topic. Then we have culture readings, culture studies. You cannot avoid world literature. That's very, very important for GNU, for DU. For the first time, I'm telling you the books. Remember, nobody talks about the books. And then, after these books, this is the modern interpretation of Orientalism from Islamic point of view, talking about the Gulf countries, South Asian countries. It's a must read actually, make sure you have it. And then, postmodern American fiction, the literary trends in postmodern American fiction and comparative literature in Indian. So make sure you have these books, you read them, you understand them. And these are actually not enough, but they will at least complete 90% things. Culture studies, make sure you get these books. Now friends, I know the reality. I have seen the same background you're coming from. Only these books will cost you around 30,000 plus. So I suggest to you that instead of going for all these things, you can simply uh, collect the papers presented by, the, presented by a lot of great scholars and writers. And there is a website, shodganga.com. You can go there. That's, that Shodganga is actually for the you know scholars of University of Delhi and other universities. And moreover, Academia Education is a platform you can go and get all those things you are requiring there. And for any information, suggestions, you can talk to me. Well, actually being busy with online students and all, I cannot start a separate portal for all these things. Because here you need to have a lot of written material. And I suggest you that if somebody is providing you material on post-colonial things or uh, you know these culture studies things, especially for Delhi University or Genu point of view, trust me, they are just uh, befooling you. Instead of going for someone's written material, make sure you read and write of your own because the professors in University of Delhi, they will always go for your point of view. Now it's objective, so you just have to have a clear meaning of those things instead of writing things. Just save your time, revise things and those who are actually preparing for NET and just have filled the form for University of Delhi are not interested at all. I suggest you do not trouble the same speed you are using for NET. Go for NET first. MPhil can be secondary, PhD can be secondary. With this information, if you need any other information, you can call me on 85-870-35827. I believe this video is very informative for you all. It's actually recorded with the mobile now because all the students, they were asking me that the time is very less. And yes, I always wanted to tell all my students how to do this. Very soon, I'll upload a separate video how to join MPhil GNU, PhD GNU and my experience in University of Delhi. Thank you so much. Take care.